This video is about using significant figures in calculations. And we're going to talk about significant figures in calculations with an example. So I have here a picture of a bug on a table. So let's say you wanted to find the average speed of a bug as it crossed the lab table. So to find the average speed of a bug across the lab table, you're going to need to find the length of the table as well as the time it takes for the bug to cross the full length. So let's suppose you measure the table to be a length of, so, so we, we measure the length of this table using a meter stick to the nearest meter. And let's say we roughly find that the length of this table is 2.0 meters. And so it's just a crude estimate. You, uh, estimate to the nearest meter. This is known for a fact and the, the point the zero was guessed <coughs> was an estimate of uncertainty to the nearest meter. Another thing that you're going to need to uh, find the speed of this bug across the table is the time. So let's say that uh, you just you uh, just count the seconds it takes for the bug to cross the table and you get exactly three seconds and so to the nearest second using significant figures would be 3.0 seconds because you guessed that this is to the uh, <coughs> estimated to the zero. So this is an estimate, this zero here. It's an estimate just like we talked about in the previous video with significant figures you have to estimate the last <coughs> digit. Uh, what, what would cause this time to not be exactly three seconds if a human is keeping track of the time? There's this thing called reaction time. And reaction time is something that uh, all humans have. And it's just the time that it takes for our, our brains to reg register uh, that something has started and stopped. And it's usually on the order of zero. 0.1 to 0 0.2 seconds. So reaction time is just the error due to humans. So now that we have the length of the table and the time that it takes the bug to cross the table, how would you report that bug's speed? Using a calculator, you can derive the speed, because speed is distance over time. You put it in a calculator, 2 divided by 3, and the calculator spits out 0.666667. Is this going to be the answer that you record in your lab sheet? <clears throat> 0 0.6666667 is intellectually dishonest because what it says when you, in science or when you make a measurement, if you record this as your answer, this says that you know the precision of the speed all the way out to these <coughs> decimals. So so this is cert all these sixes that I'm underlining are certain in your measurement. The only uncertain one is the seven. And so 0 0.666667 is an intellectually dishonest measurement because the instruments we were using were not that precise. You might be tempted from math class to put 0 0.6 repeating, which is what two, two divided by three is equal to 0 0.6 repeating, just like you learned in math class. But you would never, ever do this in a science class because this says that you have, you know the bug speed with infinite precision, and that is just something that is impossible in the real world due to the limiting nature of instruments. So that leaves three choices. Of these three choices, which is the most correct measurement using significant figures. And the correct measurement would be 0 0.67 meters per second. And the reason is because if you look up here, you knew for certain that the table was 2 meters and you know for certain the time is 3. And so you can be certain of this 0 0.6. What you're uncertain of was one, you only had one uncertain digit. You had one and so the 7 is an uncertain digit. In this answer, the 6 was measured. It's the 2 and the 3 up here. And the 7 was your estimated digit.
digit. And so, so this is the most correct answer using significant figures. And this video was made to help you understand why we use the rules for significant digits. Um, so you're going to be using your calculator a lot in here to, to um, derive your measurements. And your calculator doesn't know the precision of your instrument. So these rules for significant figures are going to be very important. And I hope that this video has helped you see where the rules are going to come from when we go over them in the next video.